All right, looking forward uh, to the to this game next week, guys. Uh, looking ahead, what are you guys' keys to the Chiefs? J.C. Jackson mm-hmm. staying out, Keenan Allen staying out. All right. Uh, yeah, again, we're not here to root for injuries, but I'm it's legit, it would be silly I'm, to say that those injuries do not affect this game. I'm, on a, I'm not being ironic at all. Right. If I those know. two players stay out, I think the Chiefs win easily. I mean, we watched them struggle against the Raiders this weekend. They won by five. And the Raiders had the ball with an opportunity at the end, and he got strip-sacked by Khalil Mack. See, that's the thing, is that their defense is good, but without J.C. Jackson being a cover over the top, we've seen that – MVS can rip off the top. We've seen right. that Michael Hardman can take the top off. Right. And Juju Smith-Schuster. Mm-hmm. Unironically, the Chiefs, while they lost Tyreek Hill, got faster overall yeah. at the yeah. wide receiver position. Because, you know, as much as I love Byron Pringle, MVS is faster than Byron Pringle. Mm-hmm. Uh, Juju Smith-Schuster is uh, <coughs> just as fast as, as McCole Hardman, Sorry. and McCole Hardman is almost as fast as Tyreek Hill. Obviously, Tyreek Hill is... Top two, not number two, in terms of wide receiver speed. Yeah. But yeah. with Demarcus Robinson leaving and Byron Pringle leaving, the Chiefs still got overall faster. And I've just never been that impressed by Mike Williams when he doesn't have Keenan Allen to distract. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, and now that He's we have— He's not like that true number two, really. Yeah, now that oh. Watson's going to be locking him down. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. One of my keys is uh, linebacker play. I think Chargers got Eckler. They love throwing it to him out of the backfield. Good point. Also seems like a weak spot in the Chiefs' defense as of recently. Last few years, we kind of get killed by passing plays to running backs. Yeah, I think linebacker play is going to be big, but I'm not too worried about it. I really no. like our linebackers. We got younger, faster. Nick Bolton's just a monster. Dude. Nick Bolton looks good. Nick uh, the defense, beast. the defense Willie was flying around. Beast. The defense was flying around. This was a bad. We got so many pressures. Right. It was a bad Cardinals defense. I mean offense. And this will be probably a banged up Chargers offense, mm-hmm. but if they hold the Chargers at to twenty one or no. whatever. You know, again, a, that was a garbage time touchdown by the Cardinals. But if they yeah. hold them to twenty one, <laughs> dude. Listen, if Patrick Mahomes just plays like he does like this last game, we are going twenty zero. If he plays thirty for thirty nine, three hundred sixty two yards and five touchdowns. I mean, yeah, obviously win. he's not going to get five touchdowns every game. I don't know, he but. Might. I mean, Mark, that's crazy. Bet it now. Patrick Mahomes, 85 touchdowns. <laughs> this is at home. This is at oh home, though, God. versus the Chargers. So he's probably only throwing for three touchdowns. Um, Because he's better on the road. How about Clyde, though, man? Clyde, Clyde looked look, yeah. look pretty good. So did Isaiah. Isaiah yeah, Pacheco yeah. Got, yeah you did. Isaiah Pacheco in garbage time. Owen, oh, quick uh, box score quiz. Yep. Who averaged more per carry, Clyde or Isaiah Pacheco? It's Pacheco. Tough. Wrong. Incorrect. It was Clyde. How much? Uh, Pacheco averaged, I think, like five, and uh, Clyde averaged closer to six. I believe that. Pacheco had probably more carries in the game because of how much we ran it in garbage time. Yeah, he did. Yep. I think he had like 10 for 49. Well, yeah, because like mm, you're close. on two Clyde. of the last three drives, there was three and Dang. outs. It was three and outs when like basically all three plays were running plays. Uh, mm-hmm. Clyde, 12, or Isaiah Pacheco's 12 for 62. For a 5.2 average, and again, very good Clyde average. Clyde was, what, mm-hmm. 10 for 76? Uh, Clyde was 7 for 42. You're oh, yeah, counting he, Clyde's catches so where he, he, he added catches, yeah. 3 for yeah, 32, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. which would have put him at 10 for uh, 76. 76. Yes. Even McKinnon got some work in there. Oh, sorry, 74. That's crazy. So, like, I was telling this to Truman at the bar when we were watching McKinnon all the plays too. happen. McKinnon yeah. averaged 5.5. Yeah. yeah, McKinnon looked Dude. good. Pacheco looked <laughs> good. So just imagine going into a season where like, yeah, man, our top three uh, running backs look really good. And then our fourth running back is Ronald Jones. <laughs> it's I like, did, holy shit. I, yeah, Chiefs offense is totally like transformed. We got three tight ends that are useful. Yep. Three, three tight ends that you have? Yeah, that are, that are useful. God damn it. They all oh. do things like. All right, whatever. All right, okay. Oh. I will say my key to the game for this Chargers game, sacks. Yeah. Yep. In the Arizona Cardinals game, the Chiefs' defense had three sacks. How many games last year did the Chiefs have three or more sacks, would you guys guess? Two. two. No, you guys are too, uh, too, pes- too, many. too, too pessimistic. No. Oh. oh, four. No, five. It was five. Well, they had four. five games with three sacks? Three sacks against it. the Giants, three sacks against the Eagles, four sacks against the Bengals in the AFC Championship game. And then two game. times against the Raiders. Oh, no, sorry. No, the Week 17 game against the – no, wait, what? How many times? Where's the other Bengals game? Oh, yeah, sorry. No, the Week 17 game against the Bengals, four sacks. And the Raiders game, four sacks. And the Dallas – or the – sorry, the Week 14 Raiders game, four sacks. And the Week 11 game against the Dallas Cowboys, five sacks. 
five, four, I four, three. I forgot that three. we played the Cowboys in Smackdown last year. Oh yeah, dude, we kicked their ass. Did we kick their ass? I thought we did. Actually, they scored nineteen. We scored. I don't think we kicked 35. their ass. It was kind of close. Ooh. Oh, so they scored nineteen. Wait, we scored nineteen. Huh? Did we lose? Wait. Oh, sorry. No. Yeah. No, we scored nineteen. They scored nine. Yeah. Whoa, it was really? Like a, uh, it was a, that was like prime weird Mahomes time. Yeah. It was a weird. There was the same thing with like the Packers when the game was thirteen to seven against oh, Jordan God. Love. That was disgusting. That was a bad weather game though. To be fair. And Jordan Love did literally absolutely. Or like the New York Giants game where it was twenty to seventeen. That one did. That one was bad. You know, I I honestly had totally forgotten that the Chiefs lost to the Titans three to twenty seven. Oh yeah, Yeah. because I was I was gone. I was I was in Disney World. Mm. I remember like looking at the score like. "Mm." Yeah, it just sucked. Yeah, we got smoked. Yeah, so stop going to Disney World, Truman. You make the Chiefs lose. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? That's fair. That's fair. Sorry. Happiest place on earth, except for the Chiefs. Chiefs Chiefs fans when I'm there. Um. Okay, we've got our keys. I've got sacks. You've got linebacker play. Yeah, Owen, you've got the injury report staying how it is. <laughs> I get, no, I mean, that's, no, that's like, not, that's yeah. not hating two, against them. That's, huge they are. Losses. They are. Yeah, that's not hating against them. That is legitimately if J.C. Jackson and Keenan Allen do not play and the Trim, and Trim McDuffie and Harrison Bucker are the only guys not play on the Chiefs, that is a bigger minus for the Chargers than it is for the Chiefs. It is a huge minus. Mm-hmm. Keenan Allen, you right. know, as much as I love to clown Chargers players, right. Keenan Allen's he's very good. good. He's when, the number one. When, the, great when these teams running. are so good and so close talent-wise, and in our in our mind as Chiefs fans, I know a lot of people put the Chargers ahead of the Chiefs, but every little thing matters. Home field advantage could matter big. You know, people think we might split this series with the Chargers. Home field advantage could be a big thing. Yep. Thursday night could be a big thing. It's on a short week with a lot of injuries. That's yep. a big thing. And the fact that you're missing your your number one wideout is a big mm-hmm. thing, and your number one cornerback, who again hasn't played yet this year, but the defense didn't look incredible against Devontae Adams when Devontae Adams had over 150 yards, I think. Yeah, he went just off, about. Dude. Yeah, and so also, you know, was the only person. Very nice, that, very nice. So again, we are in no way to him. we are in no way rooting for injuries. But at the same time, it is hard to ignore that injuries are going to have a huge impact on this game, Absolutely. and the Chargers missing those guys mm-hmm. is going to have a huge impact on this game. Um, that being said, score score predictions this week. Uh, I think I was the closest last week. You were you were in I the forties. I had I had like forty two, maybe even like twenty one. I was really close with the twenty four. Yeah, I went with my Super Bowl prediction of thirty five twenty, which was honestly close. we were all close. Yeah, we were all really close. on it, boys. Yeah. Well, you you guys had you had what thirty five twenty one. Yeah, you had thirty four twenty. Thirty four twenty. Yeah, yeah. so pretty close and i was but i was ballsy enough to go like 42 yeah. I, I was like i think we're gonna score six touchdowns and we did yep That's we did crazy. um okay but for this game <coughs> I'm, I'm sticking with it i like my super bowl number 35 21 35 21 again yep. why is this your super bowl number uh that's just what i uh so when i was working at pra mm-hmm. they had a super bowl competition for the 2019 super bowl mm-hmm. and that was my prediction and everyone was like what winning by two touchdowns and then like it was uh 34 20 so I was like, thirty-one twenty. Thirty, sorry, thirty-one twenty. Yeah. But yeah, I was like yeah. two points off of my prediction. Yeah. overall. Fair enough. Um, yeah, so I like that. So one. you have, sorry, I Chiefs have, thirty-five, I, Chargers twenty. I have thirty-five twenty-one. Yes. Ian. 20, Actually, hold on. Seventeen Chiefs. Twenty-eight seventeen. Chiefs. Let me change Chiefs. it to to thirty-five twenty because they're gonna miss a two-point conversion. The Chargers are. So yeah. So wait, thirty. 35 night. I would stick 34 20. I would go 34 20 because the Chiefs are going to miss an extra point. Okay, yeah. 30, okay, 34 19 then. 34 Bucker 19. loves missing extra points. Or if it's that practice squad kicker that they signed. Yeah, 34 20. Oh, 34 20. Yeah, um, 34 20. You have 28 17. 28 Chiefs. 17. Man, I told a coworker at work today we're going to win by 10. Fuck. Because I want to go 27 17. But yeah. the Chiefs are, the Chiefs are going to score more than 27. And I think the Chargers are going to score more than 17. I do too, but I don't know. I'm trying to think of all the 10, because I could go 31-21, but I'm not sure that's enough. Be, it's going to, I don't know. I go think this will be like a c- cementing of the Chiefs' defense of not being ass this year, and they're going to do good. 31-21. Then. I, think, I like it. I think 21 against Justin Herbert is good. Yeah. yeah. You, can't, you can't hold him forever. Even if it's banged up just Keenan Allen, I imagine Eckler scores, Mike Williams scores, and one of those fucking no-names guys scores. Mike Williams does love scoring on the Chiefs. Yeah. Oh, God. Mike yeah. Williams has come <laughs> yeah. out a huge game. I thought Mike Williams got injured. No. What? No, I don't think so. I thought he hurt his hamstring. No, Sounds it's Keenan like Allen. Mike Williams thing to do. 
Oh, that's right. Mike Williams has to play against the Chiefs. Mike Williams was mm. quiet in week one, which is a classic Mike Williams move. It's well, true. He has it's to get true. injured versus the Chiefs. Sorry. Yeah, Mike Williams had two catches for 10 yards. Wow, big numbers, big numbers. But now that Keenan Allen's Cringe. out, I wonder if he's just not going to succeed as the number one wide receiver. Uh, Again, I have always been very impressed by Mike Williams' physical gifts. He's, yeah. But when it comes to translating that onto the football field, for whatever reason, just dog well, ass. Well, admittedly, he's had Philly Phil throwing him t- for most of his career. Yeah, which is good. Is it? Hall of Famer? Maybe. Yeah. Phil Rowe was a Hall of Famer. Maybe. I mean, okay. direct quote from Keenan Allen. All right. So that being said, thirty-one twenty-one, twenty-eight seventeen, thirty-five twenty. Thirty-five twenty. Fair enough. All right. Um, I love Patty getting getting uh, getting five. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah, hard. I like that. Um, let's move on into the NFL topic, guys. Uh, 